Staying on top of your debt is as important as budgeting and investing. Many of us disregard debt and do not read the fine print of the fees and interest rates we are being charged. This leads to financial stress and creates a potential stain in our future borrowing capacity. From credit card debt to a personal loan, we must learn how to track our debt and prepare for the journey to pay it off. In this debt tracker, we are able to input our loan details like the loan amount, the interest rate, the term, and when we have to start paying it off. Once we have these details, the tracker automatically creates an amortization table. In other words, a table showing the process of the loan and how we can gradually pay it off. This table is very useful because it shows what the repayment amount is. It then separates the payment for us to understand how much of it is paying the principal loan and how much of it is paying the interest. From the interest, we can see how much extra money we will pay from the initial loan we took, as the lender has to make a profit on the money they lent us. In this case, we took a 20 grand loan but we'll end up paying $24,000 due to the interest we are being charged. There is a monthly and a yearly amortization table to see the breakdown of the numbers on a monthly or yearly basis. The loan status table shows us important information about our loan progress based on the latest date. In this case, we started paying off this hypothetical loan in January of 2021. So the current loan balance is $18,300 as so far we've repaid $2,300. It shows us the breakdown of the repayments to date, the remaining payments, the expected payoff date, and the progress bar. The two charts on the right give us a visual representation of the repayments journey, all automated with the need of only five inputs of information. Finally, there's a repayments tool on the top right to play around with the numbers if you're planning to take further debt, hopefully a rational one like an affordable home loan and not a car loan. If you would like to access and download this ready-to-use tracker in light, dark, and cyberpunk theme, please visit my Patreon, which is linked in the description of this video. Now, let's start this tutorial from the beginning. Alright, so we're gonna search Google Sheets on Google. Click the link. Go to Google Sheets. Start a new spreadsheet. Alright, so we're gonna start with the loan inputs table. So we're going to get a $20,000 loan with a 6.5% interest rate per year. And the term of this loan, let's make it six years. Let's format the start and the current date by going to data, data validation, clicking date and saving it. So we can pick the start date from a calendar. For the current date, I'm going to write the today formula this will give us the latest date and I'm just gonna change the format of these to this one here all right now we're gonna work on the amortization table so for the period we're gonna write a list of numbers from 0 1 2 and so on Just gonna select these two and drag them down I'll drag them down to row 200 For the date of period zero, I'm just going to link it to the start date. And I'm actually going to change this to the 1st of January. Now for the date for period one and onwards, we're going to write the following formula. And we're going to drag it down. The monthly repayment for period zero is going to be zero. And for period one, we're going to write the repayment with the payment formula, PMT. So we can see the payment is actually a negative number. So what we're going to do is add a negative sign in front. We want to see it as a positive number. And drag it down. Interest again, zero for period zero. And then for period one, for the principal again, this one's zero. So to get the principal for period one, all we have to do is subtract these two. So we get the difference. And all we do is drag it down. The loan balance for period zero is the original loan amount. For period one, 
Okay, so this is the amortization table. Now we're going to write some totals here on the top. Okay, we're going to work on the loan status table now. Okay, so for the current loan balance, we're going to use the present value formula. At the moment, it's showing a larger amount than the actual loan because we wrote more rows than required. So we can scroll across the table and once it once it reaches zero, then we can delete the, the ones at the bottom. So we're multiplying everything by F10 at the moment. Everything is equaling to zero because we haven't filled up F10. But here we're gonna essentially find out how many months we've repaid so far so we can get the current status. So to find the number of months that we've repaid so far, we're gonna use the date if formula. So I wrote, I wrote date if, should be dated if. There you go, seven months. So the remaining months so what we're doing is multiplying 6 times 12 to get it in periods or months and then we subtract 7. For the expected payoff date we're going to combine the formulas e date with eo month. So what this formula is doing is grabbing the remaining monthly repayments and translating them to months based on today's date so it's adding 65 months to the current date and for the progress bar we're going to use a spark line okay and then that's the loan status table complete now we're going to work on the repayments tool I'm just going to write the loan amount let's make it a bit more realistic to today's numbers So for the yearly repayment, we're going to use again the PMT formula or payment formula. The good thing about Google Sheets is that it can guide us on what to select with our formulas. So as you can see, it tells us to select the rate, then the number of periods, and then the present value. For the monthly repayment, we're going to use the same formula. We're going to do it monthly instead of yearly. So we're going to select that rate and we're going to divide it by 12. We want the rate spread per month. Same with the term. We have 30 years at the moment. We want to convert that to months. So we multiply by 12. And the loan amount stays the same. And for the weekly repayment, what we can do is get the monthly one, multiply it by 12. It's back to one year, and then we're going to divide it by 52 weeks. We're going to skip this one for a second. So now we get the total repayments for the life of the loan. Then finally, for the number of monthly payments, all we do is grab the total repayments, and we're going to divide it by the monthly repayment. That means that we have a total of 360 monthly payments. I'm going to color these yellow so we understand that we have to fill up the yellow information. Now finally all we have to do is the charts. And I want a column chart. For the data range, I'm going to select the loan amount versus the current balance. And we're going to combine the ranges vertically. We're going to switch rows and columns. We're going to remove the x-axis. And we're going to add the loan amount here. So now we can compare them. And then the next chart is going to be a chart that shows us the life of the loan. So we're going to choose the area chart. There's one more thing we have to do, and that is the yearly amortization table. This one's very simple. We're just going to drag it until period 6 because that is the current period that we have for this loan. And all we have to do is 
simply duplicate the same formulas that we wrote previously. Here the only thing we have to remove is the 12 because now we're gonna make the yearly calculation. So this would be the yearly repayment. And there it is, that's the yearly amortization schedule. So we are pretty much done. Now all I have to do is format it so that it looks similar to the demo. So now that we've formatted everything, the last thing that I wanna show you is the conditional formatting. So what I did was select all the cells down to row 90 when it reaches the loan balance of zero. And then I go to format, conditional with formatting. I wrote a custom formula. So if you click the arrow, you go to the bottom, click custom formula. And this is what I wrote, equals dollar sign C18 less than today, open and close bracket. Essentially what it's doing is that if C18 is less than today, then it colors the whole row that we selected as green. And it's just a way to show the progress of the loan up to the current date, or at least the, the current month. I hope this tracker helps you manage your current debt progress responsibly. The repayments tool is a great way to figure out the repayments you can afford based on the size, interest rate and term of the loan. This is Planet Finance. Thanks for joining me. Until next time, happy learning.